Classifying systems of equations. Systems of linear equations can be classified according to their solutions. A system of two linear equations will have one solution, no solutions, or infinitely many solutions. If no common solution exists, the system is called inconsistent. If infinitely many solutions exist, the system is called dependent. So let's look at pictures of these various types of systems. In the first example, we have two linear equations that intersect at a point. So these equations are not parallel and they are not the same line. We call this consistent and independent. In the second example, the one line is on top of another line, so these two lines are the same. They have infinitely many solutions, and we call this consistent and dependent. So consistent means they definitely intersect, but independent versus dependent qualifies whether or not they're the same line. In the last example, the two lines are parallel. They will not intersect we say that this system is inconsistent. There is no solution. Example one, we're asked to solve a system of equations. And I can use substitution to do this. I can notice that y equals 3x, so I can substitute 3x in place of y in the first equation. And I get 0 equals negative 4. That is false. When this happens, it means there is no solution. The system of equations is inconsistent. So we could have graphed these lines and we would have noticed they were parallel, but we can also solve a system of equations using algebra. And we can interpret special case solutions by determining whether or not a statement is always true or always false. Let's take a look at another type of a system. To solve this system of equations, I can rewrite both equations as y equals mx plus b in slope-intercept form. So the equation on the right has a slope of negative one-third and a y-intercept of two. And if I divide all three terms on the left by three, what I notice is we have the same line. Therefore, the system of equations is consistent and dependent. There are infinitely many solutions. Let's try another example. We're asked to solve this system of equations. I would like to clear the fractions from this equation, so I'll multiply all three terms by 4, and it becomes 4x minus y equals 3. And underneath that, I can write the other equation and now use elimination by adding both equations. And I get 6x equals 4, x equals 2 thirds. So I do have an x coordinate where the two lines intersect. I'm going to substitute that x coordinate into either equation to solve for y. I'll choose the second equation. I get 4 thirds plus y equals 1. I'll think of that 1 as 3 thirds, so I get y equals negative 1 third. There is an x and a y coordinate, therefore there is exactly one solution, and the system is consistent and independent. All right now a word problem. Brandon started jogging at a rate of 4 miles per hour. After he jogged one mile, his friend Anton started jogging on the same path, at a pace of four miles per hour. If they continue to jog at the same rate, will Anton ever catch up with Brandon and explain? Now, your life experience would probably tell you that Brandon will not catch up, uh, excuse me, um, Anton will not catch up with Brandon. But let's use algebra to prove this. Brandon's rate was four miles per hour, so we can use an equation to represent Brandon's jogging speed, y equals four x. Now, let's look at the information given for Anton. 
Anton's equation could be y equals 4x plus 1. And to solve this system of equations, we could set 4x equal to 4x plus 1. We could sub subtract 4x from both sides. We get 0 equals 1. That is a false statement. Therefore, there is no solution. And we have just used algebra to prove why Anton will never catch up with Brandon. Okay, so I have a couple of problems for you to try here. And I'm asking you to solve the system of equations. And put the video on pause, and when you're ready, you can check your solutions. Okay, so here were the two equations we asked you to solve. The solution for question A is there is no solution. And for question B, because the lines are the same, there are infinitely many solutions. And two more examples for you to try. Put it on pause so that you can try them and check your answers. All right, in example C, you were asked to classify the system of equations. Therefore, give it a type based on the number of solutions that the system of equations has. In example C, we find out these lines are the same. Therefore, we call the system consistent because they do intersect and dependent because they're the same line. In example D, we find out the lines are not the same. They are not parallel because they don't have the same slope. Therefore, the system is consistent. They will intersect and independent. They will intersect in exactly one point.